Over a hundred years ago, physicists were trying to figure out how things glow, like molten glass or hot lava. It seems like a simple question and was being pondered by such physicists as Lord Rayleigh at the turn of the 20th century. I give you a wooden skewer that when touched to a flame glows orange red. Rayleigh knew that the color of this glow depends on temperature. Like the sun that has a surface temperature of 5,500 degrees Celsius radiates a bunch of different colors that together look white to us. Or me, at 37 degrees Celsius, I have this invisible halo of infrared light. Fun fact, infrared light is invisible to humans, but snakes can actually sense it from up to a meter away to detect prey. Rayleigh wanted to understand where the light came from and come up with a rule that would predict how much of each color it would emit. This is its spectrum. Another fun fact, Lord Rayleigh was the guy who figured out mathematically why the sky is blue. So Rayleigh thought of the simplest possible object, something that absorbs all light. Objects absorb, emit, and reflect light. Rayleigh's object would only absorb and emit, but not reflect. So all you would see when you look at it is its glow or its radiation. Physicists call this a black body. Technically, a black body isn't black, it's glowing, but whatever, physicists. A true black body doesn't exist in real life because nothing absorbs all light and radiates perfectly. Although stars like the sun come pretty close. Kind of funny, right? That the brightest thing we know in our solar system is the closest thing we know to a black body. Physicists. Anyway, at that time, physicists didn't really understand atoms and molecules. They thought everything was made of particles that vibrate like springs. Rayleigh and his colleague James Jeans imagined a black body made of these vibrating particles where that vibration was continuously converted to light. From that model, they came up with a rule to predict what colors a black body would radiate at certain temperatures. But the unfortunate happened. Their reasoning implied that a black body should emit infinite amounts of ultraviolet light. They tried to apply their usual rules of Newtonian physics and came up with nonsense. We now call this the ultraviolet catastrophe.